many people misunderstand what is cost of quality many people have confusion also on whether the cost of quality should be high or it should be low today we will talk about what is cost of quality whether the cost of quality should be high or it should be low what go into cost of quality and how this can be understood and actions can be taken to improve quality hi i am jagdish kumar master black belt six sigma certified reliability engineer and certified manager for quality and organizational excellence from american society for quality lead auditor iso 9001 2015 doing this presentation now let us understand the, the background cost of quality is he said this is the biggest danger cost of quality is a hidden and remains a major concern for organizations some of the elements of cost of quality is scrap or high inventory now you get a idea that cost of quality is not a, a good uh, money it is actually a waste to be avoided research shows that cost of poor quality can range from 15% to 40% of the business cost this is a huge huge money unfortunately not revealed in the financial reports and that is why doesn't get management's attention and uh, because of that actions may not happen so as quality professional or as an aspiring quality personnel if you can recognize these wastes with the help of my presentation and the details i am going to give now onwards you will actually show enormous saving to the company it can be a good reward for your career also apart from benefiting the company the best in class company has a cost of quality less than 2% of its turnover so reference is what or the benchmark is that best in class of companies in the world have cost of quality equal to or less than 2% of its turnover whereas it is much much more in the indian companies quality includes safety and legal compliance needs also please remember no one was any extra money you have to spend to build a safety afterwards or any legal related issue for which you may have to do the compensation then they also fall under cost of quality which are actually avoidable if you proactively work now objective of this session a simple understanding of a cost of quality so that you can answer well during the interviews and also you can teach in simple words to your own quality team down the line in your company clarify cost of quality that it should be low now one must please register in your mind cost of quality is not good it should be as low as possible benchmark is 2% of the chart cost of quality in indian company by and large are 5 to 6% of turnover this is a huge loss maybe we are two to three times more on spending side or losing side compared to the global benchmark i had one company where we started with the 12% cost of quality and around 200 crores this is a huge huge loss and also please remember higher the pain higher the gain or in other words higher the problem we have higher the opportunity for you to solve and get the recognized and rewarded also more we struggle to meet the quality higher will be the cost of quality and uh, bad will be for the company now what is cost of quality exact definition let us go through cost of quality is that extra money please remember extra money which is avoidable na cost of quality is that extra money we spend to improve quality because our current quality does not meet the requirements because our current quality is not meeting customers quality requirements not meeting the market quality requirements if i am in a general you know, 
product area like uh, say refrigerators or washing machines because I am not meeting the quality requirements, I am spending extra money so that my product uh, gets lifted to the required quality level. This is a wasted money and this is called as cost of quality which should be very low. Cost of quality has following four components. Let us try to know these four components because this will help you to recognize where the money is going to be lost and also show savings for the company. One. The first component is a external failure cost. What is external failure cost? The product goes to customer's location, there it fails. Customer complaint comes, you may have to bring the item back to your factory at your cost, rework and then give back. This is a huge money expenditure. Added loss is that your company's brand image is also getting eroded. Next component out of four components of COQ, component number two is internal failure cost. Just before shipment, you are doing your final testing and you are finding the problem. This is called as internal failure cost. Here, there is no brand image loss, but there is a huge money loss for the company because this is avoidable. Next is appraisal cost. For example, I do inspection of parts maybe at the inward good level from uh, subcontractors when they, the item comes into my factory i do in process inspection i do final inspection i do audits all these are appraisal costs which should be reduced prevention cost proactively i do the risk management i realize this can go wrong either internally or uh, at customer's place and take preventive actions this is called as prevention cost most of the times best practice to do prevention action is at the design stage itself because there is a proverb quality is built in design not the uh, inspected upon means at design stage is the best way to anticipate quality issues and address that is why in many of the leading companies the design review when it happens quality person is also a member so that he can give his perspectives and inputs to proactively solve the quality issues. So what are the four components? EFC, IFC, AC and PC. Please remember these four components. External failure cost, the theoretical definition, losses suffered due to failures after delivery to customer location. We discuss this. Examples are customer returns, warranty cost. Warranty cost, you know, we have to attend to customer's uh, warranty call at your own cost and rectify the defects. That will be a money loss for the organization. Internal failure cost is defined as losses due to quality failures before delivery to customer. That means in the factory itself. Examples, rework, repair, reinspection. Reinspection is also a huge money. Now, please remember one and two, that is external failure cost and internal failure cost collectively are called as price of non-conformance. You are paying the price, you are paying the penalty because your product is not uh, conforming or meeting the requirements of the customer or the market. P-O-N-C, please remember. Now, the next third, appraisal cost, cost of measurement, that may be part of your inspection or uh, it may be uh, the measurement because you are not confident that uh, you are able to meet the parameter or not at the machine uh, itself you may be doing like lead. Evaluation, evaluation to see whether the product is really good or bad with its inherent characteristics, workmanship inclusive, maybe in a going QA, laboratory and so on, auditing processes, all these come under appraisal cost. Examples like inspection, incoming inspection, in process inspection, final inspection, calibration of instrument is appraisal cost and whatever process audits you do are also appraisal cost. Prevention cost, it is defined like this, cost to prevent or minimize failures and uh, appraisal needs. If prevention cost is effective, there is no need for appraisal there is no chance of internal failure there is no 
opportunity or there is no problem of uh, external failures. This is the best way. Cost to prevent, minimize failures and uh, appraisal needs is called as prevention cost. The best way for this to happen is at the design review stage. Statistical process tool, control tool is one of the tools I will explain later. Training on quality comes under prevention cost, which is proactive. Three and four, that means appraisal cost and prevention cost are put together called as price of a conformance. So what is POC? Appraisal and prevention cost. What is PONC? Price of non-conformance. It is a external failure cost and internal failure cost. Now there is an iceberg story which is uh, helpful to remember. You appreciate whatever is above waters here in the iceberg is uh, actually what is visible and you are working on. But unfortunately majority of the things are hidden under the waters like the iceberg. And uh, these are the things which if you are aware say from uh, my current session and identify in your area and improve you can show huge gain to the company it may be rewarding for your career also apart from benefiting the organization now hidden quality costs i will start clockwise under the waters long cycle time longer you take time to manufacture because you have not done enough analysis to remove non value added content Lo less production you will do less sales means less turnover for your company longer cycle times also mean late delivery to customers which may lead to late delivery penalty by the customer if that is the purchase order condition next there is one small font there what is written fmi field modification instructions in many places i have seen the companies don't take enough attention inside to finalize the item goes to customer but for field assembly and uh, commissioning they give an instruction if so and so find is found to be not uh, performing remove that module replace with so and so module replace this component by this component of so and so value and so on these uh, if, if they are avoided it is well and good because they at external place it is going to be huge money loss more setups means to say there is a, an example from automobile industry which is a famous uh, uh, um, you know, best seller uh, material which says that in an automobile industry it was say, taking one week for actually the setup. What is setup? You mount the tool and uh, jig on the uh, machine bed, then you start the job. To mount the tool and jig on the machine bed, do the spirit level and so on itself was taking one week. After that only the job number one would start. They do the, the uh, team analysis, they form a lot of activities they can be can, that can be removed and uh, finally they brought it down from one week to nine minutes. This and uh, further they did improvement to be able to do it in one minute. This is called as famous single minute exchange of dyes, SMED. This should be an inspiration for us to uh, make more and more improvements in our work area. There is possibility everywhere. Expediting cost, especially this happens in January, February, March when the production is peaking. We find this material is not there, the second material is not there, third material is not there. So what to do? Send people to subcontractors, cajole them, pressurize them, get the items back. All these are uh, wasted money. Proactive planning will be a better idea. Customers productivity loss, productivity loss at customers place is uh, actually um, using our machine, frequently machine is failing, he is stopping his production, calling us and then getting it rectified. Definitely after two or three rounds he will get frustrated because it is a huge loss for him. He may charge that money to you also, at times it can also happen, that's a loss. Engineering change orders more the design review better it is because formed up design is getting released to production if it doesn't happen if there are some shortcomings production people will realize the shortcomings they start giving engineering change request to design people they will study the request then they will modify the drawing this is a huge waste now coming to the right side from bottom to top late product introduction is a loss I had one example from my earlier company. When the company started to uh, initiate a product launch in their company, 
the market potential was 700 crores. There were a lot of formalities and uh, challenges. They took longer time. It took two years for them to install and start their production. At that point in time, the market are already shrunk to 70 crores. Very 700 crore, very 70 crore. That is why in business we say time is money and uh, be fast. Lock, next point, lost customer loyalty. If the customer loses confidence in you, he will never come back. There's a proverb, it takes few seconds to lose a customer, whereas it takes years to build a new customer. Please remember this. Lengthy installations is also actually lost to the uh, company because longer you take to install and commission, that much money that to add the field is uh, non-productive for the company. Excess inventory is a huge loss. This is one thing that uh, you please monitor. We found uh, in uh, one company, the inventory knowingly or unknowingly they stored shot up to 240 days of uh, inventory and crores and crores. Finally, we took actions to reduce the inventory. The first complaint that will come from materials in charge is that I have 5,000 materials to handle. What are you thinking that I will be able to do? Please remember, out of 5,000, 20% are only A-class items, you know, ABC analysis for inventory. In that, if you take top 10 high-cost items and uh, control your inventory, you will save hundreds and crores of money. This is what has been my work experience. There is a lot of potential. Higher the problem, higher the uh, opportunity also higher the pain higher the gain late delivery <coughs> I'm sorry customer will lose confidence in you or he may do late delivery charges over time is a waste because you are paying double salary that is only one aspect by doing more time management also will pressurize the people to deliver more in that speed more rework may happen substandard workmanship can uh, result that's why it is also a loss Lost sale is actually a huge loss, but I can give one input to convert that into an opportunity. Lost tenders, lost business, please do not ignore. Collect data on that and analyze. You will get a lot of uh, vital insights to implement in future so that you will not make those uh, mistakes in future and be able to proactively uh, be in a better position to get the sales or uh, um, get the tenders. Now what is visible I need not explain, rework, scrap, inspection, warranty, rejects. Many of the quality professionals get lost in all these five parameters only, forgetting the another 20 parameters which are sub much. This is an opportunity for you. Since you have undergone this session today, you please explore those losses at the bottom side also, which is covered under water and not visible. You can show huge gain to the company and get rewarded. More than reward, it will give you a lot of professional satisfaction also. Now to just summarize for your sake, cost of quality has to be reduced. It is that extra unnecessary money I spend because my current quality is not uh, good enough. Cost of quality comprises of external failure cost, internal failure cost, appraisal cost and uh, prevention cost all added together. External failure cost, internal failure cost are called as price of non-conformance. Appraisal cost and prevention cost are called as price of conformance. The danger of COQ is that it is not visible, it is a hard, hidden uh, cost and it is not revealed in any of the financial statements. It's a big drawback, system drawback. Most organizations are not even aware. Top management, if they are not able to see the figure, they are not able to get sensitized or give proper instructions down the line. On the other hand, it is an opportunity for you. If you can uh, sensitize uh, the management on these losses, show real savings, you will be actually a person who will be doing a great contribution. Cost of quality analysis and cost of quality reduction significantly enhances companies' finances and also brand image, especially brand image for uh, the loss of uh, external failures. Now, 
I request you to please subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed yet, we will deliver a lot of value adding uh, topics with a lot of practical experience also being uh, shared. Please press the bell icon so that you get all the future notifications. Please press the like button if you have liked this simple presentation and uh, value adding experience sharing with you. Thank you so much for watching.